First off, I'm, I'm very humbled to be up here talking to you all today. For a living, I'm a motivational speaker and I speak to uh, thousands of professional athletes from the biggest names to the smallest names. And when I saw Doc walk in here with the uh, Congressional Medal of Honor, this is the first time in my life I got nervous to speak in front of a crowd. That's how much I respect this man up here. I was reading about this man back in the day. So I'd like to thank the VFW very much for giving me this, this award. It, it, it means more to me than anything I've ever received in my entire life. I'd like to thank my grandfather, Sergeant Jack Gardner, who is now deceased. This would be the happiest day of his entire life. I'd like to thank my mom up here who <clears throat> who never picked me up when I fell. She taught me how to get up when I was knocked down. You have no idea how big of a deal this is to me. I was not always this strong guy you see. Um, I went through a lot of hard times in my life to get here today. I tried once to get in the Air Force to be an Air Force pararescueman, and I quit for fear of the water. I was 175 pounds. I left the Air Force four years later at 300 pounds. I went from 175 to 300 pounds. All I wanted to be was an uncommon man. In my whole life, I was not that, much worse than that. I read stories about men like you, Doc, who had the courage to jump on grenades and stuff like that. And I watched the show on Discovery Channel of guys carrying boats and logs, Navy SEAL training. And I decided to make a change in my life. And I called the recruiter up. I was six foot one and 300 pounds. He laughed at me. Seven other recruiters laughed at me. One recruiter finally said, Come on in, I'm too busy to talk to you on the phone. I walked in the recruiter's office and he looked at me and he said, you're fat and you're black. Got someone to be a Navy SEAL. I didn't know there'd only been 35 African-American Navy SEALs at that time in over 70 years. He said, I basically had to lose 106 pounds in less than three months because of my age, I was getting too old. I came back three months later 106 pounds lighter. I have the most respect I can possibly muster up for all of you in this room. I know what it takes to be a combat soldier, and I used to look for courage. I thought courage was a man who won the Medal of Honor. It is. But courage is a man who's willing to put those boots on every single day of his life to go out there and fight for this country when nobody even knows what the hell they're doing or where the hell they're at. You do it for the man beside you. Thank you.